This episode is sponsored by ZocDoc. You've been stewing about a health problem you have. You almost resort to texting your group chat to get your friends' opinions. You're extremely unlikely to find quality medical advice in your group chat, but you can find it from your doctor on ZocDoc. Thousands of medical professionals on ZocDoc are there to help you. They listen like a friend and give you the expert care you need. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. Go to ZocDoc.com slash OnlyFriends and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash only friends. ZocDoc dot com slash only friends. This episode is sponsored by Keen. We've all had burning questions, love, relationships, career, family life. Or what if you've been hearing more about tarot cards or astrology lately and you want to see what that means for you? Well, here's your chance. Keen spiritual advisors have been helping people find answers and clarity in their lives for nearly 25 years. Let's almost as old as me, but like not quite. I'm a little bit older. If you need balance, reassurance, Keen's vetted best in class psychic advisors are available 24 seven and they've helped over 14 million people just like you. Every conversation is confidential and you can connect by phone or online chat within minutes. They even have a satisfaction guarantee. So give it a try like I did. Head to keen.com slash only friends and get your first 10 minutes connecting with a psychic advisor for just $1.99. That's keen.com slash only friends. Are we recording? Yeah, I just started it. <gasps> We're live, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Only Friends. We are thriving. We are sliving. I have heat in my house Sliv- Oh my God. God, it feels the so good sun in here. is shining yes it's like, like beautiful oh my god like truly 60 degrees feels I'll nicer take it. it'll, it'll be like nicer later sun's out yeah it was still so cold when i went to the gym this morning but i was like it's fine yeah, it's fine it's not rough. raining it's not I raining know. it's not and raining. it was supposed to rain today and it didn't like last week it said monday oh, it was supposed oh, to rain oh thank god like hey. did you know that los angeles has had more days of rain this winter than seattle no <laughs> isn't that illegal it is illegal straight to jail like the fact that we're paying so much for taxes and like mother nature has the audacity to cast rain upon us yeah I, apparently this hasn't happened since the 80s like I also, this much rain oh i believe it but honestly it's like okay i know that we need it yeah everything's so gorgeous <laughs> like green it looks like we're in ireland <laughs> truly thriving although i will say tj is now having like the worst allergies ever oh. um because everything is so alive. Yeah, all the pollen's and alive. We went out to dinner with uh, a friend this weekend and he literally sounded like he was on his deathbed, but it was just his allergies. Oh my God. I think it's going to be a really bad season allergy season. For people Re- with we're allergies. like the news starting. <laughs> yeah. It's great. It's, it's not raining. Be- <laughs> it's going to be a good, bad allergy season. <laughs> you know, big updates over here in LA. But um, <laughs> honestly, it is a big update because it, it literally has been raining for like 10 months. But and like it's going to be 80 degrees this weekend. Yeah. Well, uh, earlier when I looked this weekend, it was supposed to be like 90 degrees. <gasps> and I was like, no. <laughs> I need a pool. Immediately too hot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> this whole time we're like, I just want to be nice. And I'm like, yeah. I'm over it. No, it's I'm good like s- between 60 to 80 yeah. ideal temp. Same. I will take it and I will just be so thankful <laughs> and happy. Yeah. I mean, it's good for my walks too. I went on a walk yesterday. Yeah. Gorgeous. And then if it's too hot for your walks, like that can be really. Yeah. Because the sun. It's really just a nuisance. I got to pick the right time. You got to get an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Honestly, we used to like joke about everyone know. having umbrellas in LA, but like we were young. Honestly, slay like I, no one's aging with every their umbrella. time i would see someone with an umbrella i would post Put them on, on my snapchat. snapchat story and be like what the fuck is yeah. this? it's not raining but like little did i understand my 20 year old skin was like could have used it yeah we should have been using umbrellas i know it's really we start now <laughs> uh, the thing about umbrellas like is hike. they're just like so much work holding an umbrella is truly a nuisance they're wide they need to make ones that just like latch on to you, like a <laughs> wristband that you just like latch onto your arm no like a parrot no and it needs to be a hat yeah well they have those ones but they're so, so like nerd hats yeah i know but that seems like the most maybe logical easy way to have a umbrella but the bigger they get the heavier they'll be <laughs> and the pressure on your neck so maybe they need to do one where they make like a brace and then you like oh. clip it in. Sounds like more work than just opening yeah. an umbrella at this point. <laughs> and it has a jet pack. <laughs> I had to walk when we were in New York because it's like a big walking city. I walked around with an umbrella like every day and like it's windy. So you're like, oh, because it was raining. Yeah. Oh, I was like, oh, you were? I thought oh, you like, meant because of the sun. God. And then every time you walk into a store, you have to close it and yeah, open it. And it's a like, lot. This is my nightmare. That's why I like don't have an umbrella. No, I don't own one here. 
I think I have yours. Okay, I was wondering because I was like, I feel like <laughs> I we used to have I, one by the door. I'm pretty sure you brought it in my car once. Mm. And I think I've had it in there ever since. Oh, that's fine. And I think it's now inside my house. <laughs> and I think <laughs> it's now of the traveling umbrella. <laughs> yeah. But like, uh, when am I going to use it? I know. Well, that's what I thought. And then I really needed it one day and I didn't have it. It was devastating. I have walked down in torrential down. I don't even own a raincoat here. <sighs> oh boy. It's about time. Well, I feel like we've moved past well, it. Well, now we have. So I won't need it for year. another year. Yeah. <laughs> and then you still won't have one. <laughs> and the last thing And she's thing trying I to need... like declutter. Yes. So. Oh, hi, P. Did you eat your breakfast? I've been trying to get you to eat it all morning. It looks like she did. She's licking her chops. Yeah, you lick your little lippies. Did Whitey come and threaten you? <laughs> we've started doing this new thing where if Paris will not eat her food, we will look at her in the eye and say, okay, you don't want it. Well, Whitey's going to get it. And then <gasps> we'll call Whitey's name. And it and works. She immediately starts feasting. How are animals smart like that, but also not smart at all in other ways? Yeah, like it doesn't make also, any sense. Also, the fact that we've done this like 20 times to her and Whitey still never comes in. Yeah, her like at this point, are you like, <laughs> all right, you're obviously bluffing me yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're just the best. Yeah. I love your little teeny brain. It's so funny just having a living so animal good. in your house that like you are responsible. Like you have to go out, buy them food. I know. You got to go figure out what's wrong with them. Like you got to <laughs> take feel, care of their nails. I feel really bad because- it's been so rainy that we have not been able to like take her on any oh. walks. And then it, one nice day I had my period. One and nice so day. I had like such a bad headache. And I was like, Paris, it's, I looked at the weather and I was like, it's going to be so beautiful for the next week. Like I promise to take you on a walk every day. Oh. And then the next day I was like bedridden <laughs> and she's just looking at me and I'm like, she I know me. it I registered in her brain. I yeah. was like, TJ, you have to take her. She's like, hello, <laughs> yeah. you promised me. Oh, look at her. If you guys aren't watching, it's yeah. very cute. Yeah. You should just watch. I always like for not I don't forget she's here, but like I just get so used to it that when I see comments that are like, look, Paris is so funny. I'm yeah. like, oh yeah, she is funny. She's very she just funny. Chills in the I love when camera. she's in the thumbnails. I know. <laughs> like <laughs> just him making him like outlining yeah. the dog. <laughs> He's probably just like, okay. <laughs> it's very funny. Um, how's your weekend? She's such a good girl. Um, honestly, did you, did you stick to your word and do nothing? It was so amazing. Like I, the first weekend in town, binge watched two television shows. I felt like after watching them and doing close to nothing all weekend, I feel like it's how people feel like when they come back from one of those like spa meditation retreats. (laughs) Oh, it was like that. Yeah. I was just like, this is my happy place. Like I'm so rejuvenated, cleansed just uh, I could cry thinking about it and I'm so excited knowing that like my next three weeks Uh look exactly the same yeah I was very uh, it was kind of annoying at some points because teachers like let's go do stuff and I'm like no oh yeah you're like I need to stay in my couch (laughs) yeah I've been on a plane for 10 months yeah no like fully it was more of a vegetative state weekend yeah and I I love a vegetative state however I did go to mod sun last night you did I did oh my god how was it it was did you see Tana (laughs) I didn't see her. Oh, she was there. Um, I, saw. I saw when we got home. <laughs> it was so good, but I was so sad the whole time because he was so sad. He was like literally talking. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, you're she is tearing up. It was just wait. Did he like make a speech or something? Or he made like a few, but he did it like in such tell. a classy way that wasn't. By the way, I don't know anything that happened between him and Avril Lavigne. Oh yeah, I like, guess if you don't know also, they were engaged. They were engaged and then all of a the sudden there were pictures of her and Tyga like out in public. Like what? And it's just like really, it gives me the ick. I feel like he would have had to do something really, really bad for her to just like do that. But I don't think he did. I don't think so either. He seems like such a good I agree. hearted I agree. human. And like, I just, I don't know. To me, like- I feel as though it's a her thing and that makes me feel so icky and I'm hashtag team mod and last night I am night, too for like no reason yeah no he's know. just like such a good vibe yeah like he's just a happy guy I know and oh my god like he he cried he cried he cried and I was like I can't he had to he was like, like giving sing. a speech to the stage or to the audience literally thanking everyone for saving his life because he's like wanted to die these past six weeks. He's like, you guys have saved my life. Like, I'm so sad. So then he started crying and he turned away. He couldn't even like face the audience. Oh my God. It was so sad. You can just tell this man is so heartbroken, but he's like so thankful for everyone. He's been sober for almost four years. I know. I I kept seeing, I keep seeing clips of him on TikTok, like performing. 
He's the new 1975. (laughs) For you. Mod son and Taylor Swift. Yeah, no, but he's just such a good entertainer. Like I know like a handful of his songs pretty Uh well, but the whole time I was just like smiling and having a good time. And I was like, he was born to be someone on stage. Like he's so engaging and really good. And that was the last show. Otherwise I would say like go to a show. Go oh, that to was the last one. Uh huh. Uh, when he played Emo Night Vegas Vacation, yeah. I wasn't like a huge fan of him or anything. But yeah. when he started performing, and I'm like not really a concert girly, like I like it when I know the songs. Yeah. But I was like, oh, I could watch this forever. He, it, was it was so, so good. He's so good live. And, <laughs> um, it was funny because I think he performed for like an hour and a half. Uh huh. And I was like, this is great. <laughs> it's not three and a half hours. Yeah, but and like trying I to remember, catch an Uber like, for three after hours. an hour, I looked at my phone and I was like, oh my god, he's already been performing an hour. It didn't feel like that at all. Oh yeah, because he's so like go go go, go, go. go. and like the amount of there's energy, no eras to go through. Yeah, <laughs> the amount he did do Costume sort changes. of like his eras because he used to be like a like hippie kind oh, of guy. True, yeah. So he was like, hey, do any of you? want to hear like this and then tj laughed at me because like i listened to that oh yeah back in the day yeah you showed me it like when we were just little babies yeah 26 <laughs> yeah when i was chain smoking weed mm-hmm. um i don't know if that's an appropriate way to chain smoking weed whatever i think it's fun. um but it was Some so do. good and so sad he the second song he played was avril's song which is a song on his new album I, know, I think it's not crazy but i'm just like surprised he still plays it yeah he was like okay like here's like a note this is literally song number two he basically said something along the lines of like and he's like smiling saying this but you can tell it's like killing him inside it's he was so classy smile. about it like i would literally be like yeah so i wrote a song about this fucking bitch <laughs> and like now she's dating this guy and but yeah. like he didn't do that he was just like you know sometimes in life you learn that like you shouldn't write songs about people you're currently dating so tonight i'm gonna like rename this song he didn't say the name of the song but it's like obvious if you know Uh and he was like we're gonna name it los angeles's song and i was like sad oh i see but then like so he would do stuff that was kind of like that that was like okay obviously we all know what you're talking about but he never was like fuck this bitch yeah and when he sang karma he was like, it's really crazy in life. You write a song for that moment in time. And, and then, then it then it, yep. else. Damn, that's what we're like, phew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he ended with um, Flames. And so like Avril's track was like still Oh wait, on it. Like I still burn for you. Wait, I thought that's, were we just talking about that song? No, Avril's, there's a song on his new album called Avril's oh, Song. Oh my God. Okay, I was so, I thought you meant the song with Avril Burn for, yeah, okay. yeah. I was very so confused about that. he played that last, and he, like every night of tour he plays That's it last. That's what I'm and surprised then, like, he her, plays. Track. Her track is like that part. And I was Weird. like, imagine listening to this every fucking night like that is. No, I'd be like, take it off the Rasta. Guy. Yeah, but it's. It's uh, like one of his most popular songs probably. So you can't really. I. I hope you get some of the TikToks of like any of his speeches because like it was the most devastating yeah. thing ever. He it was so funny. Um, during him and MGK have a song together and he FaceTimed MGK, <laughs> <laughs> and for the whole Just song, he Carly, and he kept putting. Uh, was he singing? Yeah, but like you can't. <laughs> like not really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, okay, really MGK funny. is gonna like that sing it through funny. the phone. It was really funny, and then it was crazy. We were walking back to the car. And it's the Fonda is on Hollywood Boulevard and we probably walked down like a good chunk of it. And then I looked down and it was fucking Avril Lavigne's star. Shut up. Yes. And I immediately, I wanted to spit on it. (laughs) I'm telling you, like when I left, I was so emotional. I was like, I want to just like give this man a hug. Oh, I know. I know. I don't even know what happened. (laughs) I know. It could have been like so amicable and we're like, fuck this guy. No, I will say like, I don't think it was. Probably not. But we don't know. Based on like his vibe. Like like, what if he cheated on her something? He seems like very upset. That was my thing. I was, I mean, I talked about it the whole way back. Oh yeah. Because like neither of us know what happened. And I was like, I feel like he's the kind of person, especially now, like three and a half, almost four years sober, like has so much clarity in life. Like if he actually did something so bad, I don't see him being on stage, like just like sensing his hurt. Mm -hmm. Like just the things he was saying, it was so obvious that like whatever happened, like he was very, very hurt by it. You never watched a documentary, right? No. Now it's ruined. Cause that made me really like them together too. Ugh. Cause it was so cute how he was like describing her and saying like she was his angel and 
blah 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 it was just yeah, very and he's sweet. like singing all these songs on his new album that are like all about her and it's just so sad uh, i know and like he was I, so oh my god like literally watching i was like i <laughs> i don't want to know yeah i do want to know <laughs> no but like i don't want to know what's like next for him because like I, I feel like these past six weeks he's had like the tour and fans and like support and like i see what you imagine mean. like a breakup and then you're just like sitting at home i know but he probably has a lot of friends that are gonna, yeah i mean but, we uh, don't like we don't know him at all <laughs> i'll hang out with him yeah we'll go we'll go spend time with him don't worry guys. i would love to i know he just seems like such a like genuine human. movie come M hang movie. out with me movie <laughs> yeah you're doing a podcast movie movie <laughs> Doing a podcast movie. <laughs> he like says that after every it's caption. Very, on his story I remember the first time he started doing it. I was like, "What?" No, I know it's it was a like movie. movie. <laughs> We're so old. <laughs> I know he's older than us, isn't he? Yeah. Um, was he like forty? No, I would say like well, thirty-five. 30, yeah, like okay. 35, 36. I can I'll look just shoot if you up. want. No, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, it was a very emotional show, and I'm sure this has been like a super cathartic experience for him. And I stand 36. Maybe it's good it happened while he was touring, so he was so I could not agree more. Like you know, yeah. busy and performing, which is like what when you per are a performer, that's like what you want to do all the time. Mm -hmm. So it's probably a good thing. I need to shake down some friends who <sighs> yeah, roll in need... Avril Circle, so I can find out. Yes, please. I mean, you got to know somebody. I know you no, know I somebody. literally do. <laughs> that person will not say anything about she, anything. The person I know who could give me the tea will never spill the tea about anything. There are multiple things that yes. she could give me all the tea to. I just really need to like get her in a room and get her drunk. Yeah. Is she coming to uh, Emo Night? <laughs> no, she's actually not. No. Which is really devastating. But um, I'll tell you some stuff off camera. Oh. Uh huh. Are you guys jealous? It's I would be if I was listening to this. I'd be like, "Fuck! I hate when podcasts do that." No, I, I know, really but do. It's like I can't out her. Well, you no, know of what course. I, mean? I don't yeah. think you should say anything. But I normally it's just funny. would. Like I would give the goss, but like yeah. I don't like outing people who's like professional. Yeah. No. No. Don't do that. I just think it's are. funny when I listen. I'm like, oh, I want to know. What do you mean off camera? It's not fair. <laughs> and then I know Carly's seething because she probably wants to know. No, no. And I will forget to ask after this. It's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. It's just like some updates. I'll remember like 2 a.m. Yeah. And text you. Oh my God. But I don't know. Well, why am I hungry already? I literally ate right before I came here. I'm Like starving. what the fuck is my problem? I brought a sandwich because I knew it would be a couple hours. <laughs> We're filming another video after this. Yes. So with the... Uh, the boys. Good influence is crew. The boys. The boys. Um, what did you do this weekend? Um, okay. How, well, wait, how was your walk? How was your Pilates? Oh, great. I went back no to a Pilates. Popped. Nothing happened. I want to show you my scar because it doesn't even really look like it anymore. It looks like a bruise. She's healed. Yeah, I'm like literally healed. Oh my God. But it was funny because the instructor I had, I'd never had before because she mm. usually teaches at 7 a.m. So like, obviously I've never seen her face in my life. And um, <laughs> she was subbing for the girl that I usually take, who's like a big Swifty. Oh, I got to fill okay. her in because like last time I took flies with her, I was like, I'm going next weekend. No, oh, and that's she, right. And you just have not been back. No, I haven't been back. <laughs> when Midnight's came out, it's all she played for the whole class. Like, ugh, I just love her. <laughs> Obsessed. I love that. Yeah. And so the girl I had. The other people are probably like. <laughs> no, I know. Well, actually a lot of her friends take the class because she's oh, like perfect. probably like 24. Oh. She's really young. So her mom always takes a class and then a bunch of her friends. Oh, so it's cute. actually pretty fun. Um, but I never had her before. So I just gave her a heads up. I was like, I had an appendectomy a couple weeks ago. I got the go ahead, but I, like, if I'm not doing a move, that's why. And she yeah. was like, what? Like, she, I don't think she really knew what it was, but she was so worried about me the whole time. She kept coming <laughs> over like, you. are you okay? Yeah. I was like, I'm not gonna burst, I'm okay. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. yeah. It was fine, nothing hurt at all. It. I could like feel it like, yeah, uh, in a way, but it wasn't pulling or hurting or anything. And I was so happy. I was just oh, like, good. thank God. It was only two weeks. I thought it would be like a month at least. Well, you did it. Bodies I just like it. heal faster than yeah. we give them credit for. No, the laparoscopic surgery is iconic. Yeah. I saw one performed last. <laughs> Stop watching them. Well, no, I watched. I watched a show. <laughs> new fixation. You would never watch this show. It's trending on Netflix right now, though. It's what called Emergency it? NYC. No, it is literally New York City. No, no, it I'd is be so too good scared to go back. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's basically like Grey's Anatomy but documentary style. No, and you follow like some of the doctors' storylines, but also like the patients and see like what happens to them. And it's all okay, it real. Sounds good. It's all real, it, and this it's sounds so good. Like a good show. It's so good. It reminds me. I feel like when I 
was a child, like I, there was always shows like that on. Yeah, like Mystery Diagnosis, and and they would have a lot like, of real there was medical one shows. That was like um, like the emergencies, like someone yes. get into a car accident and then they like rush them into the yes. ER. Yes, it's kind of like that, but it's filmed so well. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you'd like it because they show surgery. Oh, I can do that. Oh, okay. I'm fine with that. It's crazy looking. But I Is saw- it like less dramatic than Grey's? They're, they don't like- Oh yeah, there's no like drama with like doctors or anything. It's not like that. I just that. mean in the sense of like, this person came in. Oh, kind of. A mystery diagnosis. Oh, not like that so far. And it's a brain eating amoeba and they got no. it from sitting on an airplane. Not like that yet, okay. at least. I've only seen three episodes and there's eight. I started watching it at like, like it. 8 p.m. last night and I- couldn't stop watching it. I, I'm obsessed with those shows. I don't know yeah. what it is. Well, one, you really like documentaries. Yeah, but and these two, ones specifically, it's yeah, just like a rush. Two, I feel like you like the weird. I do. So I like it's a, a 600 pound match. life. Like, uh, what's the other one? Intervention, mm-hmm. hoarders. Like, mm-hmm. I just like- I feel like they just put hoarders on um one of the streaming services I saw it this weekend. Oh, and it's been on Discovery Plus. It was, oh. <laughs> I've been watching it. <laughs> Of course. Don't worry. It's all on there. But yeah, that show, if you like medical stuff or just that vibe, it's it's like number three trending right now on Netflix. I, I saw it and I was I like- I feel oh. like I must have seen it. So I was probably on Netflix. Oh my God. I watched so The Night good. Agent. Never heard of it. We were talking about it um, oh. with uh, Mike. Remember he went to the premiere and Marnie oh, like, yes. produced it or something? Yep, yep. I remember. I just don't know the name. <laughs> it's like me with celebrities. It was- <laughs> so good yeah it was like a crossover okay, of scandal and um like homeland oh i really weird. enjoyed it yeah. some of the acting could get like a little cheesy at times uh-huh. but overall like for honestly like an unknown cast for the most part like thoroughly enjoyed okay super engaging real fast paced okay I it need gave that. like uh it was like truly a, a good perfect action show for me okay um would recommend and then another <laughs> action adjacent i watched was the traitors the traitors it is oh. so fucking good <laughs> i need another season what like what's the plot it's basically like a game it's like a mix of like big brother and survivor so basically they put all of these people in reality a, yes oh. and this was with like reality stars so like a lot of bravo liberties oh uh, people from big brother people from survivor and then i think there were a few random okay people like, like scattered in regular people yes. <laughs> and so basically <laughs> That'd be crazy. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah basically how it starts is all of these people sit around a round table and then there's like a host that goes around everyone closes their eyes and then he taps people on the shoulder and they're the traitors and they basically have like to game. convince everyone the whole game that they are uh, what they're called faithfuls. So faithfuls oh. are the good guys and then they're traitors. It's literally like the games, like werewolf or yes. whatever. Yes, yes. And it's so good. They do oh, like funny. challenges in between, which really like do not matter whatsoever. And I would like look at my phone a lot during uh-huh. that, but it's like the scheming and then you know who the traitors are. Oh, so it's funny. like super interesting to oh, watch like good. people manipulate each other. And I really, really liked it. Oh and it was like a great cast. I know a lot of them because- mm-hmm. Is it on Netflix? It's on Peacock. Oh, okay. Um, that makes sense. Brandy, like Bravo or Peacock. Brandy's on it. Oh, okay. And then this- Why one, is Brandy on everything? <laughs> give She's me more everything. Brandy. Yeah. She's I mean, so yeah. fucking funny. Her and um, I don't know if you've watched- that below deck but kate she's like the one of the chief stews they are the same person oh and they just like was she on the show too yes oh my so god iconic together such a good idea to take a game like that and make it a show yeah they have i believe i saw australia i know there's a uk version i started watching it but then i was like i can't i don't know any of these people yeah i think it's it, always tough that also helps me is that like i know, you know people on it that's why i like celebrity big brother yeah and stuff like that um, yeah but really would recommend okay that sounds really good it was great <laughs> it's funny because every time tj would like walk in the room he would just like stop what he's doing and stare at the tv and get like hooked that's and like, classic, like i gotta go work classic husband <laughs> yes like, i don't like this show yeah, but he was like Watching i would watch it. that next time and i'm like great yeah i feel like that's the show for him. my boob is literally almost popping out Get it together. Your um, big ass titties. My big old, t- tick old bitties. Um, I also would like you to know that I did finish our book. Ooh. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, we read- Things We things, Never Got Over. Yes, for our book club. And we were just talking about how cheesy it is. Okay, here's the thing. The book is so fucking long. 530 pages of the book. So it's already 
basically two books that we normally would read in one. Yeah. So it's already so like, goddamn Harry long. Is Potter even that long? <laughs> I don't know. I, definitely not the first one. Yeah. It's like the first one's probably like three to 400 pages. Yeah. They get way crazier though and they're way bigger than, I feel yes. like they're at least like 700 yeah, pages. Yeah, like Goblet of Fire. Like I feel like that one's pretty long. Yeah. I mean, She's they get thick. thick. Yeah. So I get to the end and I'm like, okay, I made it to the end. I might as well read the epilogue. So I'm like, God, okay, I'll read the epilogue. Yep. Finish the epilogue. Bonus epilogue. I was like, does it end? Does this book <laughs> I end? No. I did not read the bonus epilogue. I, at that point, I checked out. I was like, maybe I'll read it before book yeah. club. I just like can't. I, it doesn't matter. I feel like I have to reread those because I like already forget. The epilogues? Or, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm just like, half the time I'm like, do I need to They're read it? They're just like dumb. Yeah. Cause I'm like, I don't really care like what no. happens in five years. I'm just glad I finished the book. Yes. Like I'm glad I just knew what happened. And truly- if someone explained, like, <laughs> if someone was like, it's so, what yeah. happens? I'd be like, not really anything. It's so, I feel like there's so many subplots. That's just like, yeah. this, none of this matters. Like, cut this out. No, totally. And it's like, this could have been 200 pages. Yes. Probably less, to be honest. So it has, much The less. plot is interesting, but it's not written well. Well, yes. I mean, it's, it's, so it's, it's easy like to read. It. <laughs> Literally. It's it would be like it. if Carly and I wrote it. God, <laughs> imagine that. No pictures either. <laughs> yeah. I'd throw some pigs at that. <laughs> Half of them are pictures. Just like a little penis to, <laughs> when they like describe her his magic wand. I mean, the sex scenes it's are just like atrocious. If you somehow made it through that audiobook, Carly found like oh, a sample, a sample of the audiobook. <laughs> it is so awful. funny. It's so funny. Awful. I was so glad it was Knox's voice because I was like, I have to hear what he yes. sounds like. And he sounds like he's like eighty years I old. I know. And I was like, I need not to, sexy at all. I want to like hear the sex scene though. Yeah, the one that he describes. Well, maybe we could just buy it and then. I thought about because I had, I don't know, like an audible credit or something. Yeah, well, no, I had like twenty or thirty pages left, and oh. I was like, maybe I should just listen to the rest of it on my walk oh. and like see what it's like because. I, we were talking about that too, like how curious we are, what yes. it sounds like and like what the voices are. And I didn't do it obviously, but I did find a sample. Um, literally, if you just YouTube, I typed it. Yeah, I just typed in things you never got over audio version and there's like a clip on YouTube. Yeah. And I was like, guys, Lucy you score. have to hear this. I have no interest in reading the second book knock, and- was Knock him out. Is that how you say it? Yes, that's what, how I pronounce it. It's so stupid. I'm like, knock me out, knock him out. I don't, I just say it however. What I don't, a dumb no, name. No, not enough respect for the book yeah. to get it right, to be honest. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lucy. You're probably really nice. I know. Um, but I don't know if I would give her another chance. Like with Colleen Hoover, if I don't like a book, I did, didn't like the first book I read of hers. I gave her another Ugly chance. Ugly Love, yeah, that's right. Uh -huh, I Verity. remember. Mwah. I liked Ugly Love. I think I'm just like a lot easier to please in that sense. I'm wondering if I would like it now that I'm like actually reading though, because I was reading it. Oh. It was like a very random thing. Yeah, you were just learning how to read. Yeah, I didn't know how to read very well. So didn't she know had to do to like a lot good. of following along with her finger, yeah. you know? No, I had a ruler and I would move it down. <laughs> yeah. I literally used to have to do that. Um, uh, yeah, to me, those ones, like Colleen Hoover books are so mindless and easy that it's just like truly an escape. And yeah. like, it, I don't dissect them in ways that like people on Goodreads do. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. I take it very surface level. Like I don't I like- What was the review you were telling me that was like- People will- It's just like, you're reading a November book- November like, 9, like November 9. I started that all, by like, the way. All of her male characters are like toxic men. <laughs> yeah. Like every single Which one is of like, them. Have you watched Lifetime? <laughs> Literally, like, have you ever watched a single movie? Have you watched- any entertainment yeah and so i think people take it too literally That's, they're like there's everyone so takes many, everything literally there's so many red flags and it's like it's a, it's book. a book when you watch a show are you like oh, red flags? no literally i was saying like euphoria like oh all yeah. these people have red flags of course they have red flags they're it makes psychos. it interesting yeah <laughs> And I don't know, like to me, that is not how I interpret a book or like read a book. I, I don't know because we're looking normal to, people. Like, nitpick characters, <laughs> I if, like, I, and I think that's what makes a book a book. Like people have flaws. We're not going to yeah. write a perfect book. It would that, be boring if yeah. it was just like they just got along the whole They're time so happily ever after. Yeah. Huh? No, we need some red flags in this book. For yes. it to be interesting. There's lots of red flags. How are yeah, that's, we? That's crazy. Huh? How far are we in to Nove Nine? Oh, um, I read the first like 20 pages, but okay. I do enjoy it so far. Yeah, it's good. Uh -huh. Colleen Hoover is just like a, if you need an easy book to get through in a uh, slight entertainment, there you go. Yeah, or if you're like, haven't gotten into your reading journey, mm -hmm. I highly suggest a Colleen Hoover. It's so quick. Agreed. I suggest Verity because it's very fast and interesting and you're mm -hmm. like, what the fuck's gonna happen? That's what I suggest the first book to read. Ever? Yeah. 
That's like my, if you, or Evelyn Hugo. Yeah. But Evelyn Hugo, no, Evelyn Hugo. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's the best. Yeah. Um, Agreed. Well, I need to start another book. Well, we have book club, so yeah, but maybe not read it right away. I'm reading, I took it off the bookshelf. It's on the kitchen table. I just haven't opened it yet. Lessons in Chemistry. Oh, okay. I'm going to start that one. I've been avoiding that one. Oh. I just feel like I don't, I'm not going to care about all the science references. Yeah. But you'll have to let me know if it I will. you. I will. Like, okay, I get it. <laughs> Moles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that's really it for my weekend. This episode is sponsored by ZocDoc. You're trying to find a cause for your symptoms. You stumble down a TikTok rabbit hole full of questionable advice from so-called experts. I'm the most guilty person doing this because I do it all the time, especially on TikTok, just because there's like real people with real stories or whatever, but it's not always going to help you, especially with my appendectomy. I would literally type into TikTok appendectomy recovery, appendectomy recovery three weeks later. Like I'm just a um, nuisance, like looking up every symptom on TikTok, but there are better ways to get the answers you want and the care you deserve from trusted professionals and not random people on the internet. ZocDoc helps you find expert doctors and medical professionals that specialize in the care you need and deliver the type of experience you want. I I found my psychiatrist on ZocDoc. It was so simple, so easy. I literally typed in psychiatrist, but you can type in any kind of doctor, like dermatologist, orthodontist, therapist, almost everything under the sun you can think of is on ZocDoc medical wise. And I literally found one within a couple minutes and I had an appointment that day. It was so simple, so easy. It's great for just trying to find someone in your network. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them and treat almost every condition under the sun. With ZocDoc, there are no alarms and no surprises. Choose from thousands of patient reviewed doctors and specialists, browse doctor profiles, upload and verify your insurance information and get the care you need. Go to ZocDoc.com slash OnlyFriends and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's ZocDoc.com slash OnlyFriends, ZocDoc.com slash OnlyFriends. This episode is sponsored by Keen. We've all had burning questions, love, relationships, career, family life. Is this person mad at me? Is someone going to call me tomorrow or am I going to have to call them? Is the plan, are the plans still on? Like, I don't know. Or what if you've been hearing more about tarot cards or astrology lately and you want to see what that means for you? Personally, I do. I don't know anything about astrology or tarot cards. I have a friend who's really into them and like I tried to understand, but like I'm just not there yet. But I would love to know because I feel like there's some truth to them. And especially the like, especially the astrologers on TikTok who are like, predicting all these things that are happening. I don't know. I think it's crazy. Uh, well, here's your chance. Keen spiritual advisors have been helping people find answers and clarity in their lives for nearly 25 years. If you need balance, reassurance, Keen's vetted best-in-class psychic advisors are available 24-7, and they've helped over 14 million people just like you. Every conversation is confidential, and you can connect by phone or online chat within minutes. They even have a satisfaction guarantee. We love a satisfaction guarantee around here. So give it a try like I did. Head to keen.com slash onlyfriends and get your first 10 minutes connecting with a psychic advisor for just $1.99. That's keen.com slash onlyfriends and get your first 10 minutes connecting with a psychic advisor for just one dollar and 99 cents yeah i didn't do a lot we watched um was it a movie on apple tv called apple tv plus called tetris Ooh. uh taron edgerton okay and he's basically the guy who like bought the rights for tetris back in the 80s from like the russians okay app i will literally take this to every person's grave apple tv <laughs> just has the best content they do i will say though i was like super into it watching i yeah. feel like i was expecting the social network like a movie like <laughs> that Tetris, yeah yeah like i wanted it to okay, be super interesting watch. and i just like wasn't super into it no one really liked it so i just it felt like uh just I, like they made it to make it yeah okay. i don't know how to explain it maybe you'll like it but he must have a contract because they did that um other show taryn did oh yeah which was really good. Yeah, he probably does. Did you watch that? No. It was I a didn't. good one. I do love him though. You gotta make a list for Apple TV. They have great shows. I know. Defending Jacob, I Acapulco. Still haven't, I still haven't watched the morning show season two. <laughs> I think the third one is like uh, filming right now. Oh, nice. Maybe I should wait till the third one's out and then I can just binge it all. Also like finally got to watch some Ted Lasso this weekend. Oh yeah, Ted Lasso. Really? Is it good? Yeah, it's so cute. I heard he makes, or he's like, he wrote something that kind of mirrored <gasps> like Olivia, Olivia Wilde and Harry Styles. Okay, well. Is the whole season out? No. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, well, I mean, no I just, I'm, I just heard that. 
I don't know okay. anything about the show. I know, but now I'm like, who's it going to be? What's going to happen? I don't know. And I don't know how like deeply they meant it or like okay. how obvious it is, but. T. It might have already uh, happened and I'm just like. Dee, dee, dee. Yeah, maybe. So I living know. on my little Ted well, Lasso. Planet. I would think it's already happened because I think I was on like, obviously I'm subscribed to like the Netflix or uh, oh, streaming, whatever. We haven't watched subreddit. all of the ones that are out yet. I think we watched three or, or maybe four you'll episodes. see it then. I don't know. I or forgot what, I, just, like, what I'm didn't stuck to. Even think of Olivia and yeah. Harry when it happened. Yeah, because I was wondering how obvious it would be. But oh, oh. Okay. is it obvious? I now? think <laughs> it. Mm, no, I okay. don't know. I think it just happened. Okay, whatever that might be. Okay, so maybe you're getting into it. But like to me, it was just like his ex-wife is like dating a new man. Oh, that's probably what it is. Yep. That's is he just a, a normal singer? thing. Is he a singer? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about Could him. Could you imagine? He's like I a, think f- f- a huge the star. episode like literally ended with like oh. I'm pretty sure with like the song being like, Oh, it's it? like mommy's friend. Ooh, okay, yeah. We'll see. But it's like obvious that like his son's a dum dum and doesn't know it's her boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Um also I'm so sorry if that spoiled anything. It's really not like a big plot um, point. Um yeah. but Sorry. And I feel like it's out there too. People are like talking about how it's similar. Yeah, I mean, so, I haven't seen it. Yeah. I mean, I don't really watch it. I just saw it on Reddit, so. Oh God. Yeah. Um. Oh, I also watched 80 for Brady. Oh my God. It was so how was bad. It? <laughs> Obviously. I paid $20. Stop. <laughs> Aaron, your bad movie your bad movies are like it hindering your life. It was so bad. And knowing that Tom Brady produced it made it like I can't. so cringe. Was, was it like, like cheesy? Man. Yes. Was it, it was acting so bad? cheesy. Uh, I mean, well, they're all like it? icons. And like Amazon Prime, like where'd you watch it? Uh, you had to buy it. Oh God, I don't even know, to be honest. <laughs> it was 1999. Um, More than a goddamn was, movie ticket. It was like cute, okay. but like I literally was like, Airplane movie or no? Uh, I don't think you'd like it at all. Yeah, no. I really I'm don't. not a big sports movie. I'm Whenever there's like a sports scene, I'm like, okay, I get it. They're playing sports. Yes. I also I like think it. like you as a Patriots fan. As a Patriot as, of America. <laughs> 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 um, as a Patriots fan, I got so many references. Oh. And it all takes place over the season in which like the Patriots have like one of the best comebacks okay. of all time. Okay. And so obviously watch that. It was the 2017 season. And so they're <laughs> making a lot of references to that specific event. And that made it like so much funnier but not in a funny way like in like a this is like so cringy. silly way um so i do think i would probably got more out of it than you ever would also oh, for sure like i think that if i didn't understand what was going on i'd be like this is very silly yeah that would be an airplane movie i'd turn off there's a cu- there's been a couple of airplane movies and i'm like i don't even like this on an airplane and that's when you know it's i don't bad. think you'd like it <laughs> no not at all <laughs> like if i it's had like, a um, hard time getting through it that oh was. yeah there's no way <laughs> i can't even stand watching like movies yeah. in general but it was part. really sweet because like all these women are like lifelong friends and watching them like act as 80 year olds was like a cute moment yeah but also i was like okay <laughs> okay oh, wrap it up good god <laughs> yeah I, I guess it's like fever pitch i got those references like red Sox oh, references i thought you were gonna say you didn't like the movie no no no. i loved that movie these ones are like super specific oh okay because like i ev- think everyone was about like great bambino and like the the yes. curse yeah but if i didn't know that i'd be like i don't get what this i don't get all the things about this movie like why is he so depressed that they lost yes. i also feel like in fever pitch it was helpful because he was kind of educating true Drew. true and he was educating us yeah this one like it just was like four super fans that <laughs> they knew everything also it's based on a true story oh it is yes <laughs> oh my god which i didn't know until after and i was like what <laughs> <laughs> like all true or just like I'm sure based. half true. Yeah. Well, we got to watch the Air Jordans. I, okay, well, I have that on my list. So why don't we just get into this day in history? Did you watch it? No. Oh, okay. okay. All right, let's let's get into it. Okay, so we'll start with, uh, not birthdays. There's so many birthdays. Okay, hmm. Scandal, which is so crazy because oh, I referenced yeah. that. Yeah. 2012, phenomenal Shonda show. Love. One of my favorites of hers, I would I say. I remember you watching it all the time. Or wait, was it Scandal? Mm-hmm. What was the other one? How to get away with murder. That's what Got I was thinking. I like yeah. Scandal more. That's Shonda Rhimes too, right? Yes. Okay. She is just like the queen of dramatic content. I or know. shows. Content. Like, Hello. 
the pe- like her leads in every show are just like mwah, yeah perfect carrie how washington does she, how does she do it she's like the oprah of television i know she's like on top of it all she's steven spielberg literally um married with children did you ever watch that wait you know, it's sounds... like love and marriage love no and... okay i don't want to know that, well because i know familiar. that you, watch, you would watch like nick at night and those kinds of things oh. and it was like very much in that realm oh okay so it was like older yes okay like a threes company vibe um yeah Time but like a family wise? yes okay. yeah yeah yeah, okay. yeah yeah no i never Came watched out in it. the 80s oh that was a good one okay um i don't think you know anyone in it um <laughs> Super Bass, the song, boom, Nicki boom, Minaj. Boom, boom. The, one, the, an, the one rap every white girl knows. Yeah. <laughs> Just, that album, Pink Friday, so is good. so I came to fucking win, good. To fly, so good. good. To rise. I like, <laughs> literally, I am obsessed with that album. Yeah. I listen to that shit all the time. Same. I would flip from Taylor Swift to Pink Friday, like, yes. back and forth. Like, yes. huh? Driving in my... 1990 Buick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a gangster. Um, nice another iconic hit, All Summer Long, Kid Rock. They were smoking funny things. They were... Oh, uh, keep going. Sweet home Alabama, all summer long. Oh, yeah. It's a really good one. Oh, that was like a good long. summer anthem. Makes me want to drink a Bud Light Lime. Like, <laughs> Let's go get Smoke some. a cig. Wear it is nice out. Let's go do it. <laughs> um, and then Air comes out today. Oh, today? Well, yeah. It's well, not, Wednesday. Yes. Yes. Yep. Well, we will. And while you're listening, on. we will be at the theater. <laughs> yeah. I want to watch it so bad. If you are unfamiliar with the movie, it is basically the story of how Nike brought on Michael Jordan to like be the face of Nike, I yeah. guess, essentially. Um, the cast is unbelievable. I've only heard great things yes. about this movie. Because we were talking about it with Mike and how like dumb it's gonna be or whatever. No, I never said it oh, was. Oh, you never be said dumb. that. Okay. He well, I said like he sent Mike is very anti this movie for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, He's like, really this is, is gonna be the worst movie ever. Like this is, it's so stupid, blah, blah, blah. And I'm I like, thought the trailer you? looked good. Me too. Well, I, I did watch one that was like a short trailer and I could see from his point of view, like why it would look a little cheesy. Oh yeah. Cause you said it looked like an SNL skit that one that one specifically okay. i was like cool because he had mentioned something i was like okay like i get how you could think that yeah but i since i saw it on the super bowl i was like i need to see that movie yeah. now it looks good i'm so excited i love the cast i was just listening to on smart list they are interviewing ben affleck today oh, and him nice. and um jason are both in the movie so i'm loving hearing a little bit about it oh yeah and fun fact about ben affleck him do you know him and matt damon have been like best friends since childhood i didn't know that and they basically like came up in the industry together and at one point they shared a bank account when they were younger and they basically were like okay if you don't get a part and i do like we got like a little money pot. oh that's so, they so cute opened a bank account together and like pooled all their money that is so cute I was like, I'm obsessed. Yeah. And like, they're still friends to this day. Like, that's, <laughs> that's so, so wild. I loved that little They're tidbit. still friends and nothing ever happened where they're like, I'm taking the money. <laughs> yeah. Well, I haven't gone that far. <laughs> okay. Maybe it yeah, has but, happened. Um, I will update if anything <laughs> comes of it. But we should I make, thought that we should was watch really that with sweet. Mike. <laughs> I know. Make him watch Take him it. to the movie. He'll be home for Passover. Uh, when's he leaving? Uh, tomorrow. That's so Because Passover's annoying. on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. We're not filming this week. Nope. Hmm. we got the week off bitch hell yeah um but i'm very excited i need to see that movie and then for birthdays star-studded birthday okay, let's see if i know anybody big you will okay tessa brooks oh yes competition is tessa brooks is t- turning 24 i feel like we've <laughs> talked about her on famous birthdays before like Maybe. birthday on our podcast yeah i didn't realize just how young she was so she no, was she's, 12 when team yeah. 10 was a thing like <laughs> yeah. what are you saying here no it's so wild like she was really young and she did have that competition shook she is a hottie of- mick hotterson i know that tessa brooks i will say though like sometimes when i see pictures of her now i would never know it was yeah, her she looks so different yeah not, not like a bad way no i mean obviously she grew up yeah <laughs> she, she went through puberty so yeah. <laughs> she does no, look different for sure but no, it's she's like sometimes gorgeous. i'll like see her name because it'll come up sometimes she'll come up on like my suggested 
Yeah. And I'll be like, oh, this pretty person. And then I'm like, Tessa Brooks. Yeah, I know. Um, Go off queen. She's so And then fun. it is Alicia Marie's 30th <gasps> oh, birthday. I saw they're in um, Hawaii. At the White Lotus mm-hmm. Hotel. I'm so jealous. I know. Like, where was our invite girly? I know. I'm also, when I saw they were there, I was like, oh my God. Like, I know how expensive this is because I looked it up when the show was airing. <laughs> they're, they're old school YouTubers. <laughs> yeah. are good. Well, because they said that, they got that old like, money. the cast lived there during the pandemic. Yeah. And I was like, I need to know yeah. how much money they spent. And then like, I was looking at all of the rooms and I was like, oh, I want to ask, but I want to out them. Oh no. But I you mean, can look I think up. like anyone just assumes you're staying at like a four seasons. Like yeah. it's a ton of money, but it's her 30th birthday. Go off. She's queen. like, oh, I got it for a tag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I wonder if the four seasons would do that. Um, it's also Rachel know. Ballinger's birthday. Okay. She's 32. I don't know much about her. Me neither, but she's in the zeitgeist. The Ballinger and, um, zeitgeist. She's our age, so figured I'd give her a little oh. shout out. How old is she? 32. Oh, I think you said 30. Well, she's your age. Okay. Erin <laughs> loves to do this thing where she just makes me old. We're like months apart. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then it's Pharrell Williams, 50th birthday. Damn. He's looking a foin. That skincare line? Yeah. Really does some Human stuff. race he is looks slaying. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lily James. You. No. Oh damn. Oh, um, <laughs> Pamela Anderson. <laughs> Who's that? Lily Allen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, no, Lily. James. Another hottie. Yeah, thirty-four. Oh, slay. And then we have um, Juicy J. Oh. Uh, with my J's on. Oh, I don't know. I if think he sings that. I think it's with Miley. My song. Oh yes. High J's of perp. on my feet. High of part with my. <laughs> I think he does sing that no, with her. But but mine's different than Jay's what you're thinking. on my feet. Wait. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Juicy J, Miley. My song by Juicy J is Bands and Make Her Dance. Oh, Bands and Make, bands make, make Her Dance. Oh, oh no, right. Mike Will Made It. Oh, yeah. Mike Will Made It. <laughs> it does that and it's like, <laughs> Jay's on my feet. Or no. Well, no, it says featured no. artists, Juicy J. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mike Will Made It. They what work together a of? lot. Who was the Vine guy who was like, when I blow up, I'm going to act like I don't know nobody. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and he's a rapper. I don't know. No, you definitely know. Uh, you definitely know. Up. All the Viners would like make Vines with him. And I don't even know what the hell he does, but he was a rapper at some point. Act like, like I don't I know mean, nobody. No. TJ made a TikTok being him with his oh, like God. fake grill or whatever. Is it? My main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. Oh, um, uh, 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 riff raff, riff raff, riff raff. Doesn't he do Jay's? Um, no. Oh no, in my Joe. Oh, what is the song? Tiptoeing in my Jordans. I remember that was Jay's a big Vine song. Oh, Jay's on my feet is a Mac Miller song, but I don't think it's the one I'm. No, of. what's Jay's on my feet? Jay's on my feet. Is that the same song? <laughs> as the Miley one. Miley, I have perp. With some shades on. I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like I we really have to move know. on. We, we do. I'm the very audience excited. is screaming Happy at birthday, us. Happy birthday, Juicy J. Um, <laughs> my anthem was bands make her dance. And I am and high off perp. They do. Find me on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> they, they make her dance. <laughs> um, and then this person I literally would have scrolled over if it hadn't been oh, for a month tea. ago, Zach Baggins. Oh my God. What is it? Oh, his birthday? Yes. I know nothing about this man. He could be 25 or 60. I don't know. He's don't 46. Like. Oh my God. I was so like, that's such a perfect middle of the ages I just described. Yeah. When I clicked, I was like, I would like to know more about this man. He used to be a wedding DJ before <laughs> fame. Wait, how, what's his, what does he do? He, so he had he's like spooky. a TV show that oh. was like a haunted ghost tours Got or whatever. Got it. And then I think because of that, then he was like, oh, I'm going to do this e- exhibit in Vegas. Okay. Um, but yeah, I th- I believe it's still on air. Who's the guy from Hocus Pocus? I swear that's Zachary not- Banks. Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I always get I always thought that like, that's who people like were the referencing. Character name? Yes. Oh no. Oh, you're probably thinking of Bilbo Baggins from oh. Lord of the Rings. Mm, no, it was someone from Hocus Pocus. Baggins. It was Banks, I think. Zachary Banks. I just Zachary I Banks. just got them confused like the first time I ever heard his name and I was like wait he's still alive and I was like a uh, haunted because it made sense like hocus pocus maybe he's like into like spooky things oh. like the actor I don't know yeah 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 <laughs> that's how my brain really was connecting, connecting those yeah but it's all wrong so <laughs> um, <laughs> sounds good 
Um, and that's all for this day in history. I do have some news that I think is hilarious. Oh, oh, okay. If for some reason you don't know, Twitter is stripping away everyone's verification. Are they really though? I'm pretty sure. Because Elon was like, it's happening tomorrow. I know. I know they're doing it like slowly. I was like, was it an April Fool's joke? Oh. That's what mm, I was thinking. No, because I think it came out before then. Okay. Like it's been in place. Okay. Anyway, sorry. People, they have like caught. Also, did you know you can pay to be verified on Instagram now? Yeah. It's embarrassing. I did not know that, but I saw Karen posted yesterday. You pay like $15.99 a month. Like, Also, isn't it crazy that they never verified her? They didn't? No. They're talking about Karen Spencer? Mm, No. Oh. Karen. Karen and Qua. Oh, oh, oh. Well, they're both named Karen. (laughs) No, she's Karen and Karen is Karen. Oh, well, this is your Boston thing. I don't know. Those are two different names. Say them. Karen. Okay. Karen. No, it makes sense because Aaron is the same type of, I don't hear the difference. Oh, okay. Aaron. Karen. Aaron. Karen. Karen. (laughs) Karen. You sound like a rock. Aaron. A- Aaron. Aaron. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't hear it. But I just thought that was pretty crazy. That is crazy. That she is not verified and she is so got in quiet. Oh, what? They like declined her whenever <gasps> they did it. She posted like a whole thing on Instagram. And I was like, that is sexist. Ew. Yeah. That sucks. Um, especially because she's like been around forever. I know. And they like are a part of the same family. No, like, yes, why would he get very it? Very bizarre. Her? Yeah. Um, but yeah. So I found that out. You can pay for it. Fifteen ninety nine, yeah. which is like who? I feel like I get for be... like a like a like if you're a new business or something. Yeah, like businesses, and then obviously like people who are um, like work for themselves. Like that mm-hmm. makes sense. But like, why would anyone else pay money? I think because being verified is such an un- was such an unattainable thing for so long. Yeah. People are now like, oh, I can be verified, but it's just like on Twitter. I just, it's like weird when I see someone verified and then I click it and it's like paid for Twitter. But I'm like, oh, okay. It, not did, that it they make- took away two factor authentication. They did? You have to pay for like the premium membership to have two factor. Are you fucking kidding yes, me? I got like a notification the other day and I was like, are you serious? Okay, what if this is like part of your job and you don't have fucking, I, know. I mean, I guess it's a write off to pay for it, but that's, I don't, not paying for a check mark. Very fucking weird. So are we going to get our Instagram check marks removed too? I don't think so. Cause I feel like they're separate. They're too different, yeah. Um, but honestly, who knows? I mean, that would be at this point, I don't really care. <laughs> no, like yeah. if you have to pay for it, it's just like, okay. I know. The only thing that I could think of that it would be good for is like brand opportunities. Cause then they like look at that. But then also it's like, you should know that people are now just paying for it. That's so like they can be yeah. like anybody. Yeah. Maybe but it'll I be a know. difference. Like on Twitter, how it's like, this is like a notable person or like, someone political or yeah. paid for Twitter blue, which like, or Instagram blue. I don't know what it'd be called. Obviously I don't mean like you're not the same if you're not verified because you're no. notable. It's just like, I just don't get it. Like, what's the point? Yeah. I well, I feel like for like notable, notable people, it's like <laughs> it differentiates them between like fake accounts. Yeah. Especially for like news, business, like those kinds of things. Yeah. Like obviously for us, <laughs> if anyone's going to impersonate us, whatever it's whatever like, we're yeah. nobody like yeah. we're not telling anyone anything that like is necessary information yeah um but i also saw she posted that reels no longer pays creators i don't think i like realized it really did pay creators. Yeah. <laughs> i just thought that was a fun little tidbit interesting but anyway. wait so was there like a f- creator fund like tiktok kind of um i think so that's weird that they would offer that and then take it away yeah, i, I don't feel really like that know. would discourage so many people i really don't know much about it but well because i remember like they would pay people to do real campaigns like matt he was getting paid to post them but i don't know if it was like coming through the app or like instagram itself i think it wasn't honestly like most people you see post reels regularly i feel like they were all getting paid to do it probably so i wonder if maybe that program just ended maybe that makes sense and then you there's no like ads on reels I don't think. No. I mean, I don't ever scroll through reels. So maybe there are like on TikTok, how there's random ads. Yeah, I have no idea. If I ever scroll reels, take my phone away. <laughs> my whole fucking feed is just like suggested and it's all reels. And I'm like, leave me alone. You can turn off suggested posts for like 30 days. Or I, something. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. And it must be bad. I have to. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> okay. But so this made me LOL. Elon Musk's Twitter strips New York Times of verified check mark 
out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk has ordered his spite. company Twitter to strip the New York Times of their verified checkmark effective immediately, and it appears he targeted them out of pure spite. <laughs> the New York Times lost its blue slash gold checkmark Sunday, which guaranteed verification and authenticated the account what? as a legit news organization. The timing is and reason is no secret. Elon made the call from the top. The reason we know that is because Elon himself commented on the state of the times from his personal Twitter account, kind of crapping on them, literally. He writes, the real tragedy of the New York Times is that their propaganda isn't even interesting. Elon adds, <laughs> also their feed is the Twitter equivalent of diarrhea. It's unreadable. They would have oh far God. more real followers if they only posted their top articles. Same applies to all publications. By the way, the Times is the only major legacy news company to lose its check so far. That is unhinged um it says elon was made aware that they publicly said they wouldn't be shelling out so i think the new york times said this and then elon <laughs> took it away yes uh it says they wouldn't be shelling out to pay for their gold check going forward something that all companies will now have to do at a rate of one thousand dollars a month what and it says that they aren't planning on paying the monthly fees of like any of the writers or people who are at the company as like a expense for them Wow. And so then I think that he got mad that they like publicly said that and then wrote those tweets and then took away their verification. I mean, it's so unhinged. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, it's just like so crazy. It's just so These men. Well, because we've never really experienced like, uh, not that Elon <laughs> Musk is like a regular person, but someone so chronically online owning an app and like using that app to like, like being like be a petty. full fledged businessman. Yeah. It's just like so funny. Like, him like watching these men have like breakdowns are is like so funny and they say me. women are emotional yeah please it'd be like when trump would like go on all, like all his little rants over like the dumbest stuff yeah. it's like, so funny to me little bruised ego yeah because i'm like <laughs> i thought you're gonna say he like unverified every car brand except tesla or something. Oh, <laughs> no just the new york times he that was like oh ridiculous. you're not gonna pay for it bye ridiculous is it because they're like liberal or do you think it's because of that? Probably. Yeah. Um, I well, I think it is no, I think it's because they publicly were like, we're not paying for that. But it's like, I feel like he's gonna have like a big wake up call. Like, I don't think a lot of people are gonna pay. I feel like a lot of businesses will just because they wanna remain like the number one yeah, like, outlet probably where he'll make people. all the money. But like he's not gonna make a lot. Like, no offense, if you're like a creator paying for a blue check mark, like that's a little cringe to yeah, me. Yeah. But maybe some agencies will like buy them for that's true and stuff like i don't know how it's gonna work and like i don't know what it's gonna look like i also in a couple just years. don't feel like twitter does any campaigns anymore yeah like i, I never see anyone time. posting like brand deals on twitter yeah well it's such um maybe it's i don't like know if it's just my twitter but like i feel like it's kind of dead a hundred percent dead but just like it's not as people are using other platforms way more yes that's all it is so i just feel like even agencies wouldn't really f see the purpose in doing that yeah, maybe with Instagram, they'll do that or something. Like, especially yeah, if it's like a smaller creator away. who's like not verified yet. Yeah. I could see them like paying for it or something. It's just so interesting. We're living in a very strange time with the internet right now. So strange. TikTok might get banned. Like, we don't know. Although, <laughs> do you see like even Tucker, Tucker Carlson? Yes. Was like, no. Yeah, we had that conversation. We did? Oh my God, yeah. sorry. Okay. Me, you, um, Mike and Matt at lunch. Oh, okay. Not on the podcast. No, 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 no. Yeah. I mean, not that it really matters, but I was like, I'm glad that he's saying it on Fox News. So like all those crazies, like I know. maybe we'll hop on board because they listen to everything they say. Ugh. But what a know. time. It's crazy when even like you agree with someone so crazy or Yeah, you're like, he's right. No, he's <laughs> actually, I agree with this. I'm now voting Republican. Just kidding. I don't worry. But everybody. maybe. But no, like, definitely not. If TikTok, if TikTok gets banned, I will be unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to act. Yeah. No, I don't think it will. Have they made any progression with that or is it kind of just like... Um, well, the hard thing is there's so many different bills. The, the yeah. Restrict Act is like the main one. There was another one that was going around and one Republican said no. And so it shut Let's it down. Let's do a Restrict shut Act down. for guns. <laughs> Literally, like what are we doing here? Like... I was watching... I don't know. Um, Kelsey Ballerini. <laughs> she did like a whole... She hosted the CMAs last uh -huh. night and she did like a whole little segment for um, the Nashville shooting. And 
Dude, so many of the comments are just like so fucked up. She also was in a school shooting. She was? She watched one of her classmates <gasps> get shot in their cafeteria. Oh my God. And so she was, she like shouted out Jesus. his name and was like, this, this, that was in 2008. I'm like what school shooting was that? I mean, maybe wherever just, she like grew up. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I mean, believe there's obviously so just, many, like, I know. It, I, I don't think, even like I think televised. it was like a one, one and done type of situation. Um, so probably wasn't as aired like aired. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she basically was just like, Damn. we need to like do something about this. And like, I'm praying that we start making some good decisions, blah, 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 blah. And then all of the comments are like, why aren't you talking about mental health? Why aren't you talking about it being a trans person? Why aren't you doing this? And it's like, how are you guys so fucking stupid? I mean, it's like anyone who, anyone takes, who believes that it is not the guns, you are dumb. It, well, it just takes a special type of person to be like, oh yeah, I've seen all these school shootings happen. Uh, we should still have guns. Like f make it make sense. It's crazy too, because like, yes, um, I would love mental health to be And they won't priority. do that either. No, they won't do that either. So it's like, okay, it's what do you want? Like, look at all of the other fucking countries who have like stricted, st oh, sorry made their gun laws way more strict. Mm -hmm. Those people in other countries still suffer from mental health problems, but there are no shootings there are no because they don't have access to weapons. Yeah. Like literally use use some thoughts. It's in the constitution. Okay, well, those were muskets. <laughs> have a musket if you want. Let's yeah. give out, honestly, let's give out muskets and take everything else away if you want to go that constitution base. Like, yeah. here's a musket. I just have fun with your one bullet that has to be lit with a match or something. I don't really know how it works. Yeah, I think so. It's like a ball. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like like a. Should we maybe we just give cannons? <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe that's what if I'm you thinking need to protect of. your house. Have a cannon. Get a cannon. <laughs> no it's guns. Like, so yeah, people are like, stupid. no, we need to put veterans outside of the schools. I know. I'm like, oh, uh, the word. The most annoying <laughs> thing to me is when people are like, no, teachers should have guns. It's like teachers are not in war. Like teachers, yeah. we're not going to school to shoot anybody it's teachers crazy. do not have the responsibility they don't get paid enough no either and it's like if you like imagine me if i was a teacher no. and like i have to have a gun now and like shoot someone if they like no that's literally an insane it's so crazy it's like can you just get down to earth and just think about this one problem without any other politics involved our country is so fucked it's yeah. so fucked and i don't think it'll ever change no me neither but, like i if i had kids i would never send them to school no Never, 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 never. No, I'd rather them be so dumb. <laughs> yeah, homeschooled by me. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, like the, I would have the dumbest kids, mm -hmm. but like I'd rather they not die. Yeah. Oh, it's so sad. I've, have you seen any of those TikToks where it's like, this is my son before going to school today. And he was just like, so if something happens, yeah. like where oh, should I? I did see that one. It's just like, Jesus Christ. Like these are children. Yeah fucking crazy i just i cannot wrap my head around it i also am like i don't care about guns either so i don't know if that's like a part of it i don't i just like the gun thing I is hard i just think like we all want the same thing like keep your fucking guns like we just yeah. want them to be way more stricter with how you obtain them obviously a normal person doesn't need like military grade weapons like keep your guns for your protection in that mm -hmm. like whatever you'll obtain it in a legal way and you'll be able yeah. to fucking do it it's just, like no one's saying like we're gonna take all of your guns but that's what and, they like, always say like i know anytime a but it's like so, a Democrat president gets elected, like they're going to take our guns. And yeah. It's like, you've been fear mongered we all that want for the years. Same stuff. Like yes. I'm fine with people who like want guns as protection to same. have that. Same. As long as they do I want it. one for my walks. <laughs> yeah. As long as they have it in a way that like they didn't obtain it illegally. Mm -hmm. Like it's not anything fucking crazy. And like they get regular like fucking mental health checks or whatever yeah. needs to be done. Like yeah. I'm fine with that me too what fucking i think ever. that there it's not black and white i think no. there can definitely be a medium and we can do at least some things to help it yeah obviously banning all assault weapons are not going to stop it all but it will at yes. least help minimize it for so sure. i don't understand that argument well there's still your fucking there's guns. still the black market of course <laughs> of course yeah. there is like that's not the problem yeah. it's a problem that you can yeah it's a it's a problem when you're scared to send your kids scared to send your kids to school it's a problem when you're making you a priority over like hundreds and hundreds of people who have lost their lives 
over something like so easy to fix. So just like in my if opinion, I dumb. was a gun owner, I would literally, I'd be like, take it. If that means that I can save a kid, take literally. It. Like, what is wrong with people? The mindset that, like, (laughs) anybody has that isn't that is so wild to me. I know. It's like, you lack empathy, like, everything. You lack, like, a moral compass. Mm -hmm. You're just too about you. There are, and there's, like, a lot of people who truly just, like, don't understand until it happens to them. Uh Yeah. And it's just, like. Which is, like, terrible. It is. I don't want anyone in that position to have it happen to them either. Like, no one should have to go through that. Yeah, I agree. But, like, <laughs> you just never, yeah, I don't I know. I also just it. feel like people who believe those things so deeply, like, even if it happened to them, they would be like, it was God's plan. No, 100%. I was thinking that, too. Which like, is, like, just as fucked. It's so, it's really sad. One of, one of the children who was killed was an ex like he used to be a pastor of that school or church or whatever and he like that was his one statement obviously he's devastated but it was like she is now with god like blah 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 and i'm sure i mean it's not easy yeah, 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 i'm yeah, sure yeah, he's yeah. mourning so hard but it's just like i don't know sometimes when you just believe something nothing no one can change your mind and that's just how people are our country is just way too big for all these for all this shit yeah because there's too many different people but it's like this to me is like such a like easy fix. I know, but for some people it's no, not. No, I know. I'm like, just use basic thinking skills. They they think they are. I know. And some of them might, yeah. They're the ones who need lobotomy. <laughs> lobotomy. <laughs> They're the ones who need like, seriously. They're telling I, people, transgender people, they need fucking mental health. I know. Help. Like, sorry, what? Check yourself in. Also, I said this last time, but it's like, Okay, I don't know if this person was trans, but like mm. every other shooting pretty much has been a no, white male. Crazy. Like no one's ever been upset with that. that Tommy Lauren commented on <laughs> so, Kelsey Ballerini's. Um, it was like, I forget who, I think it was CMT. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, CMT, yeah. Country yeah. Music Television. I think it is too, yeah. They have an Instagram and they posted Kelsey Ballerini doing the speech and then Tommy Lauren commented on it being like, why aren't we talking about the transgender person killing it? She is the most infuriating fucking little cunt She is, of all time. I know. It's like, okay. So that person, it doesn't matter now what they you are. Can they're talk just a horrible person. Yeah. Like just because they're trans doesn't mean that that's what caused it. It's mostly been white men. So should we talk about all of no, those people? Like, where's your fucking outrage for every other person it who does a mass it shooting? It literally you does bitch. not matter what the fuck they look like. I hate her. Any pronouns they use. If you're going to shoot up a school, you're a horrible fucking person. And it does not have to do with your gender or your the color of your skin or anything. Nothing. It's just you're fucked up if you're yeah. doing that. And I agree. But this is why we need to fix the gun laws and we need to implement services for people so they can access like better opportunities for improving their mental yeah. health, which Republicans don't want to do either. <laughs> exactly. That's the thing. It's like, okay, well, that's the real, if you really think, yeah. that's why I don't think they even believe it. No, they I don't, don't think they even believe it. I think they know that guns are literally killing well, children of course, all across all America. But money. Yeah, but when they say no it needs to be we need to talk about this person being trans or we need to talk about mental health i don't think they even believe it either they're just saying it so they still get their money and they i don't know they want to be reelected by all the republic i don't know i don't know i don't know wow we're so um news and political today (laughs) it's just like truly it happens every single day in this country and it's so devastating and like the fact that we have to sit here and continue to talk about it and like exhausting it's so tiring and it's so infuriating and it's so just like sad just have fucking empathy yeah but it's impossible for some people so I mean, there were people commenting on our last video being like, that's the mental health. And it's like, go fuck off. Literally, if you think that, I don't know why you're even still listening to this podcast. I mean, of course, mental health is a part of it. Yeah, but no, but like, it was like, can't... it was like, a, no, I'm not saying that's right. No, the comment wasn't just that. It was like, we need our guns. I don't want, that is not for me. Yeah. The only person that should have a gun is me when I go on my walks. <laughs> Strapped. Yeah. yeah. I will use it responsibly. It's crazy too, because those same people, it's like we are asking for like just something so simple that will like clearly, and data has shown it helps. 
Like in other countries, literally a mass shooting happens, they fucking ban the guns. Yeah. And there haven't been any I mean, since. It's, a, it's an us problem because same thing with like the pandemic. It's like, every, obviously New Zealand is way fucking smaller. So it's easier to get rid of COVID sure. there. But like everyone stayed inside and they got rid of it. And no one here wanted to. Yes. It's like the same thing. It's the same selfish thinking. Yeah. But it's like, I there's, ugh, there's so many arguments that they make that is like, like we're sitting here like begging and pleading mm-hmm. to take like, automatic fucking guns away and like big things and being like well you can keep your guns if like that's gonna keep you protected and those same people be like well good luck when like you don't have a gun to protect yourself and it's like we shouldn't have to also it's like if you really think you need a gun to protect yourself from the government like do you know what they have like no, they got tanks baby girl but I, I feel like it goes to you know like home intruders like I know, all of that I know. stuff and it's like but we shouldn't need to have those things yeah and like we don't we literally do not what need to have like so many so much access to guns oh yeah yeah of course yeah and like sure like if a fucking home intruder comes in like it'd be nice to have some protection and like i definitely do but like you can do it in ways that protect everybody yeah it's just selfish okay we need to move on we do okay am i the asshole for refusing to take my girlfriend to nice places because she eats like a kid oh my god that was so fast (laughs) I didn't even hear it. My blood is boiling. Wait, can you read it again? I literally am I the asshole for refusing to take my girlfriend to nice places because she eats like a kid. Okay. My girlfriend is an incredibly picky eater. Like I said in my title, she eats like she's 10 years old. In fact, I'll give a short list of things she refuses to eat. (laughs) Unflavored water. <laughs> fish, Wait, that's hilarious. Fish, okay. excluding fried shrimp. Okay. <laughs> Anything with bones. <laughs> Cheese, other than sharp cheddar. Spinach, onions, garlic, pasta without red sauce. Eggs, spicy food, aiolis, ketchups, potatoes, other than french fries. Pastries <laughs> with fruit, citrus, sausages, or any non-american food what the she just needs to eat lunchables yeah this compares to me someone who grew up in multiple different regions of the u.s and lived abroad for a few years few years so i'm a bit more adventurous when it comes to food whenever me and my girlfriend go out somewhere nice she ends up getting the same meals usually either a burger or chicken tenders and fries we could be going to an authentic uh nepalese restaurant and she will get the french fries and white rice to me it's kind of embarrassing to go to a restaurant where there's a dress code and for her to order chicken tenders and fries i especially it especially bothers me that since i typically pay i end up paying 15 bucks for chicken tenders that i could get from the freezer section at walmart for five bucks recently in our area a very nice dinner place opened up and my girlfriend has been dying to go i took a look at the place and the menu and saw that it looked nice but the food was kind of pricey she said she was probably going to get chicken tenders as per usual i asked her what's the point of going then if i can toss some tenders in the air fryer for her and not spend a ridiculous amount of money on it she asked why i had an attitude about this and i told her that i thought it was a waste of time and money to go to a nice place to get little kids food she interpreted this as me calling her a little kid i clarified that i wasn't calling her a child however it's kind of childish for her to eat the way she does i also said that if she was going to order food we can make at home there's no point in us going anywhere this led to an argument about me thinking i'm better than her Am I the asshole? Okay, well, first of all, there's a difference between making chicken tenders at home and at a restaurant. Sure. <laughs> um, I understand his sentiment, I, I though. think there's bigger problems going on. I don't think it... I I wouldn't really care that much. What do you mean? If the person I was with was getting, like, quote-unquote kids food when we go out. Like, sure. okay. I don't think he's the asshole yeah. in this situation. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to like form my own opinion here. Yeah. To me, I... You do or don't think he's an asshole? I do not think he's an asshole. I think he voiced... I think it's a legitimate thing. Like, why are we going to all these fancy ass restaurants that we have to dress up for if you're just going to get French fries and white rice? Is it her idea to go to these restaurants? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She said, I want to go to this very fancy restaurant. At the same time, it's like, okay, let her eat whatever. Sure. But he's paying for it. But her stuff is probably cheaper if it's nuggets. Yeah. But I think that if he has... I think the, the like 
thing he could do here is be like, okay, if we're going to go to this extremely nice restaurant and I have to pay $20 for your fucking chicken tenders, why don't you just cover your portion of the bill? That's fair. I also don't really understand why someone would want to go to all of these restaurants if they're not going to even eat anything on mm. the menu. Well, if it's a nice place, their chicken tenders might be really good. <laughs> to <laughs> I me, don't have a problem with this. Yeah. Maybe if I was actually in a relationship with this person and I only saw them eating this food, I would eventually get annoyed. But just like reading this, I'm just like, okay. I don't think I would, yeah. Like, I'm not saying that I'm annoyed, but I also don't think that he's wrong for voicing, like this embarrasses me a little bit. And um, it's like weird that we go to these places if you're not even gonna eat anything on the menu. <sighs> I think if I was the girl though, I'd be like, well, that would suck to hear. <laughs> sure so i'd be like but this is just what i like like i don't like regular water <laughs> or which is anything crazy. with bones but then you eat chicken <laughs> i mean that's boneless confusing. chicken well yeah but like it started with bones yeah so i don't know i i don't think he's an asshole or not an asshole i just think it's like like you're paying like if you're paying for it i don't know it's like, I just wouldn't be like, stop getting these kid things that I'm paying for. Cause I'm sure if she got something good, like nice, it would be more expensive. Yeah. But I think like that he'd steak. be more willing for her to experience. Like one of the examples was they went to like a, a Nepal, uh -huh. like a that, restaurant that has that. like I other that. food. So it's like, okay, that. If I, I get it. I get it. I'm kind of getting there. Um, <laughs> well, no, you don't have to get there. No, no, I know. But it's like, you're telling me things that I'm like, okay, this makes sure. sense. So it's like, okay, well, if we're going to like a restaurant, that's like a different culture yeah. and you're ordering chicken tenders, I could see why maybe it would, get it would annoying. become a little like, oh my God, like I'm a yeah, little embarrassed. That's where I was getting at. Like I get that, but I don't think I care enough to call him an asshole or not. No, I don't think he's an asshole at all. Yeah. I think he's just like telling her what she needs to hear. <laughs> <laughs> but some people are just like, can't eat. Totally. But it's like, it doesn't even seem like she tries, which is also like, yeah. I, I feel like if like a thing in your life is that like, you love going to all these restaurants and sharing those experiences with people. Like, that's why I meant by there's a bigger problem. Be with this person. Yes. That's why I said there's a bigger problem here. Cause like, yeah if everything yeah I, I think that's true and i could see like maybe going to other restaurants you think like oh maybe she'll like try some stuff but the fact that it's like always the same thing it, then maybe you're just not compatible if that's like a big yeah. thing that you enjoy doing with a partner yeah it's like if you love traveling and your partner doesn't yeah. that's gonna be an issue because like, i have like one of my best friends is an extremely picky eater and like it obviously would not bother me mm -hmm. if like she ordered the same thing at every restaurant but that's not like a like a partner quality. Yeah, like I'm not gonna go out to dinner and be like, let's try all these new things. If anything, I'm the picky eater in my relationship. Like, oh. I don't like a lot of stuff. Yeah, but same. I, to me, it's like, I think that he expressed how he felt to her and yeah. she just didn't like to hear the truth and it is what it is. It is what it is. I don't think I would care. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Well, yeah. <laughs> so it's hard for me to like be in that position. Okay. I don't, I don't know. It's hard for me to have empathy right now <laughs> for this guy. Oh, man hater. I am a man hater. We should be in guns and men. Well, please. <laughs> it's the worst combo. So okay. Also, it's like, if you're going to fucking ban our uteruses, <laughs> ban our uteruses <laughs> for making their own decisions, yeah. like fuck off. Just like, yeah. We're not going yeah, we to go on. back there. Sorry. Am I the asshole for sleeping on the couch when my wife comes home from work without showering? my oh, God. okay so he's 33 and she's 32 my wife is a gynecologist and works at a hospital she recently mentioned that she is exposed to a lot of bodily fluids during her work day while i'm proud of her for doing such an important job i'm uncomfortable with the idea of sleeping in the same bed as her without her showering first i've asked her to take a shower before coming to bed but she thinks it's unnecessary and feels like i'm being unreasonable she argues that she wears gloves and takes precautions to avoid any contamination and that her scrubs are changed regularly however i still feel uneasy about the potential exposure to bodily fluids and i don't think it's an unreasonable request for her to take a quick shower before bed since my wife doesn't want to shower before bed, I've been sleeping on the couch in the living room instead. My wife thinks I'm overreacting and being ridiculous by sleeping on the couch, but I don't want to compromise my comfort and health. Am I the asshole for choosing to sleep on the couch when my wife comes home from work without showering? I, oh, I don't think he's the <laughs> asshole mm -hmm. because this is just like what, he I mean, prefers. he has a boundary and uh -huh. he's like, I, it just like kind of grosses me out a little yeah. and I think that's okay. Yeah. 
I just don't understand. Like if I were in a hospital all day, all day like, I want I a would shower. have to take a shower. Yeah. I'm kind of comparing, obviously it's way different, but like when I worked in a restaurant, uh-huh. oh, you yeah, don't you, like, lose that. Like, it. like if I was with somebody and oh. went to bed with them every night smelling like that, like yeah. I would feel bad. Yeah. And you smell like a hospital. No, literally like <laughs> that smell is bad. Like yeah. I, <laughs> I smelled it for days after yeah. I left. I swear to God. Granted, like she's probably exhausted, which totally. is like the other part of it all. But it's like, I would not want to get into my clean sheets knowing I would get back into them the next night. Having yeah. just been like extremely dirty. I, yeah, I don't think it's unreasonable. People just have their own rules with their bed. Yeah. Like Emma, my friend, she, um, like no one, she doesn't want anyone to like sit on her bed with like clothes they've worn during the day. She's very like strict about her bed, which yeah. is fine because that's where you sleep and it's supposed to be. It's like she washes her sheets like every other day. Oh but like boy. her boyfriend, like when he would she smoke a cigarette. Through. She'd so quick. Yeah. When he would smoke a cigarette, she'd be like, okay, well you have to shower before coming to bed. Yeah. Like I'm not letting you sleep in this bed. It's kind of like the same. Yeah. I mean, granted, like that's more of a choice, but. I also don't think that she should be mad at him for sleeping on the couch sleeping on the couch yeah it's like i would just be like a, okay do what you're gonna do yeah that's like a compromise <laughs> yeah. to like as long as he's not like fighting her about yeah, it like if tj at almost every time mostly every single time he does an emo night oh yeah he will shower before he gets into oh, bed yeah it wouldn't gross me out yeah like i'd just be like oh, whatever yeah but like i could see why if he was like sweaty and gross and then got into bed yeah. like why that's like could when be... you get off a plane like you don't want to get into bed never in the same clothes especially you know no it's sick like i'm very lenient with my clothes and getting yeah. into the clothes which is probably gross to a lot of people but i could not i would never get off of a plane no. and get into bed with those clothes no. to me that's a little bit i want to like line. put my airplane clothes in an a open bag. flame <laughs> when no, I one of those, like, like medical bags <laughs> yes they are like uh, nothing I there can't be anything more dirty than an airplane. Yeah, I don't know. It might be kind of a myth. We should have talked about that on the podcast. There's just so many germs. There's so many germs, but I would like to know. I would like to know some data. Yeah, because I remember like in high school we would do little experiments, and it was like my bag had yeah, more like germs. Yeah, I want to like swab it. Yeah, like but, like my bag had more germs than like a toilet seat. So it's like the toilet seat's always getting cleaned yeah. and your bag is To me, getting, that makes sense. I mean, yeah, it does now. I but at like the time, like, I was like, that's crazy. I feel like majority of the time when I sit down on an airplane, like there's crumbs on my chair. Mm. But they do clean. Like, I'm pretty sure they wipe everything down. So it's like, but, how but it's well. just, it's hard because there's what, a hundred people all in an enclosed space. At least. At least one of them's going to have something wrong. When we were flying like to New York, or something. literally every single person was coughing. It's the worst. And you're like, I'm going to get sick. I know. Well, we, we always wear masks on planes still. And so, like, that gives me peace of mind. But mm-hmm. even still, I'm like, these are just, like, cesspools of germs. Yeah. Um, it's pretty gross. Uh, yeah. Just shower. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Just and if you don't want to shower, shower, I think it's fine that he wants to sleep on the couch. Yeah. I don't think... I it's a compromise. At least he's not is. making you sleep on the yeah, couch. Yeah, like if he was like, you have to sleep on the yeah. couch. You can't get into bed. Then I'd be that like, okay, be you're a dick. Yes, a hundred percent. But I don't think she could be mad at him for like him setting his boundaries with like what he's comfortable with. I agree. And that's that on that. Um, I'm having a weird thing happening to my um Arm. armpits right now. Yeah, I could see you. You keep touching it because. Okay, usually when I use, there's like some natural deodorants that make me sweat a ton and I haven't worn them in a while. I've just been buying like Dove recently and I bought a new Dove one that's like regular deodorant and I am sweating so, I wore, I put on before Pilates on Saturday and I was like, I'm sweating so much already. Nothing reapplied since. Yeah. <laughs> no, I showered last night. I put it on before coming over and I'm like sweating like I put on natural deodorant. Like a, there's specific ones that make me sweat That's really interesting bad. too, because it's not like warm in here or anything. No. That is so annoying and I know exactly what you mean and I'm so sorry that's happening. It's fine. Maybe if I, maybe I got like an aluminum free one or something. I'll have to look at it. Give me the aluminum. Yeah, give me all the aluminum. I really don't care, but- I guess that's that wraps up our news. <laughs> yeah. Our candy news. <laughs> oh, this world. Well, thank you guys for listening. I hope you all have a great week. Um Yes. <laughs> a nice Agreed. Fun week. I know we definitely will. There's some big things happening this week that I'm not allowed to talk about that you know that's Mm -hmm. happening it's finally here we will talk about it next week on the podcast so like make sure you are listening because it's gonna be (laughs) so so good um and yeah we have a patreon we posted an episode last week we'll post Mm -hmm. an episode next week and that you can email 
ask questions, do whatever you want. Only friends six nine six nine six nine at gmail.com. And we need your emails, so email us. Yeah. I think. Email. <laughs> we always us need your emails. About literally anything. Yeah. And um then we will post this on Wednesday for all the regularly scheduled programmers who are not on Patreon. All of the plebeians yes. not on our Patreon. You'll get everything else on Wednesday. Exactly. And then we have another podcast called Good Influences. We post the episodes on Tuesdays. So make sure you're following us everywhere. It's just good influences everywhere mm -hmm. for the most part. Yep. And that's going to be it. I'm going to go pee. I am going to piss myself. Yeah, I'm exploding at the moment. Yeah. My stitches are popping because I have to pee so bad. <laughs> okay, we're going back. <laughs> okay, bye.